Hello. Hello, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to generate descriptive statistics for one or more variables using a variety of options that SPSS is providing. As you can see here, we have a dataset with some values collected from students related to their performance and some other, uh, some other measurements. Let's pick the mathematics score. If we click here on the head, on the, on the title, with right click, we can have a quick view of the descriptive statistics for that variable. So we can see that uh, SPSS has calculated in a, in a small table the valid values, the missing ones, the mean, median, standard deviation range. So we can have a quick look on the descriptive statistics of one variable. If we want something more advanced, we can use the Analyze Descriptive Statistics and the Explore option, where we can add here, let me remove those, we can add any variables in the dependent list box. Let's say that we need the math score and the written exam score at the same time. Uh, we can use a factor per gender or not, let's exclude it for the beginning. We can display statistics or plots or both. Let's focus on the statistics for the time being. And from the statistics button, we can pick descriptives, the, uh, the mean, the mode, median, and uh, the uh, kurtosis coefficient and uh, skewness, quartiles, the percentiles if we want, outliers, but let's focus on the core descriptives for the moment. If we press continue, then we will see that for those two variables, we will have a side-by-side -side table and we can compare uh, their means, the missing values and all the rest. So we have the math score, the written exam score, those are the valid uh, cases. We have some missing cases, six cases from each uh, variable. And here we have the descriptive form, mathematics and written exams. As you can see, we have the statistics uh, in a table like that. We have the mean, uh, confidence interval of 95%, a 5% trimmed mean if we remove the 5% outliers, the median variance, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, the range, interquartile range, skewness, kurtosis. Now, if we want to interpret a few things from that, uh, the first thing to notice is that the maximum number here is more than 100%. Uh, this indicates that we might need to re-examine our data set as we see that we have some values that are not so valid. The same applies for the maximum value for the written score. So it looks like that we have some uh, data entry uh, problem or something like that. So we need to re-examine our data set. And the descriptive statistics provides, at least for the exploratory analysis, phase uh, provide us with a, an overview of the data set so we can adapt or we can uh, remove some outliers we can fill missing values and we can somehow bring the data set into a correct form another option we have for the descriptive statistics is if we select directly the descriptives uh, menu here so again we have the mathematics and the written exam or we can add and remove any variable uh, we have the option here to define ourselves which of the descriptive statistics we need to calculate so as you can see we have uh, the mean the sum of the values the dispersion ones in the box standard deviation mean max the standard error of the mean the variance if we want and the shape of the distribution by kurtosis and skewness and how we wish to display uh, in what order. So if we press continue, <coughs> we can calculate them. We can apply some styling here, format how we will present them and create a report. 
And another important option is that we can save the standardized values, the Z scores of the variables, into separate variables. Let's click that and press the OK button. As you can see, the table that we generate is different than the previous one, where we had a more extended uh, table in a vertical basis. Now here, the table looks like horizontal one, where we have the two variables and all the descriptive statistics in a way that could be easily compared. From what we see, the skewness is close to zero and the kurtosis is a little bit, for the written exam score, is a little bit towards one, which means that is leptokurtic, while the math score is closer to the normal uh, because we see that it is symmetric and more or less close to normal. However, to verify that, we need to uh, perform some additional tests. Now, if we go to our data set, we see that uh, there is an, another column for the Z scores for the mathematics, for the variable that contains the mathematics, and another column that contains the Z scores for the written exams. So we, we can use them for further analysis. So those are the ways that we can use in order to generate descriptive statistics. So either by descriptives or by explore, depending on whether we want to customize that or uh, just display the default options. Thank you very much.